skip the issue of the large device square. How are you not dizzy? I mean... Okay, 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 okay. I gotta mark this. I gotta mark this or else I'm gonna get... Let's play for you a little. Oh, my boy. My boy. Why did I spell three out? It's okay. <laughs> I see. What's down here? Hmm? Y'all got some. Uh... <laughs> Time to go. I'd like to say you can't just find Aura anywhere, you know, like you need every bit. But you can just find Aura everywhere. Dig through the sand, you touch a bush, you know. You you look in a pot. There's more. Which segment are we at? Did I? Oh. Oh, right. Huh. Yeah. I've lost my sense of direction. Let's just go up. Cause sometimes. Oh no. That's where I was. Oh. God, I'm so silly. Up. Oh. 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 A lot of the ruined areas we've encountered on the way show signs of man-made damage. There might have been unrest here. Or even a war. I'm no researcher. So I can't really read any pattern in these markings, but I doubt that the fate of this temple was a peaceful one. The books say that Gurabad was destroyed with searing fire and the great anger of the jinn. The jinn, perhaps, but it looks more like the work of a mob, soldiers, or perhaps even tribespeople like us. But who knows, eh? But we can think about that later. I think this big guy here is our more pressing concern, no? Indeed, perhaps the other chambers are all structured like this one. Let's look around again, shall we? Alright, ma I'll mark our path. Huh? Mark? Paimon didn't see you do that. We use scented oils made from wenup larvae, planting it to mark the path we, just tread. we must tread, so that if we do get lost, we can just follow our nose to find the way back. Now I'll have you know that our wildcat's nose is very sharp. We hunters wouldn't get very far without her. Stop saying all that stuff, Azarik. That's right, you blockhead. Stop bullying our little wild. <laughs> Look, her fur is standing on end. What's a wedded larva? Um. And you don't you start with that nonsense too? Okay. Now I know. I mean. When at larva is when at larva. Haha, <laughs> lesson over, let's continue. On to the next device. Right, 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 right. Let's uh go on this way. It's a chill. The sand pile here has been scattered. Man. But now that we've cleared the sand ceiling this place this place, we can move on. <coughs> Be gone from my sight. Uh, me. <laughs> there isn't there like a pathway down. Oh, about that way. All right. Activate the big 
the bison in turn another machine somewhere with it. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Look, there's sand flowing down the cracks. It seems that someplace deeper within the ruins is shaking. What what? Yes, I sense it too. Oh okay. Yeah. What is this? Oh, okay, okay. Wonderful. Slide to the left, slide to the right. May I? Oh, well. What's this? Empty. Three key. Hmm. Well. Time to go. So nice. All the music is so nice. Yeah, give me that. Let's see. Let's see. Another. The third and fourth honor, fourth honor guards have not sent word for a long while, and the dust birds sent to them have not returned. Perhaps this is due to the ubiquitous and thick smoke. It must have scared them all away. It is the 13th day of the Great Revolt. The temple guards have resisted four charges this day alone. These people were dressed in rags, but they bore brass masks. Brass masks. Some of them wore masks made of wood or paper painted that color. Some holy statues were destroyed, and all the statues of His Majesty Arvesravan were toppled, despite the construct forces defeating them time and time again. They have retreated for now, but will almost certainly be back. King Deshret is the god of war and order, and his temple now trembles under the footsteps of these furious people. The Annex temple is burning. The high priest was dragged away. Haba found him while investigating the area, but not all his parts could be recovered. Ooh. Perhaps they were fueled by overwhelming hunger or anger. General Hiberus has gone to see his majesty. Perhaps this is the last time we shall... See mighty Pavezravan give a royal order in person. But didn't the record just say that he was kind of like a shit ruler? Like he wasn't doing his job properly. You know. Torrent taking care of the people. The wind knows it.
Nice, it's open. But these devices are leading us to return to the main temple via alternate routes after all. That's nice, you know. Instead of just, you know, trapping us, like, you know, Indiana Jones style. Intruder, uh, you will stay here forever. Wow. Destruction in this place, the collapsed walls, a huge hole in the ground, really makes you wonder what sorts of disasters and degradation. Now, if even the gods can save a temple built atop something, you know? Silly. Ooh, okay. But I hope I didn't miss any. It will be very easy. Careful. Everybody stand back. Let's take care of this. One with nature. Sure. More money? You. It's very. It's very booty down here. Into the wind! Oh, excuse me. last time. Fire. 
see, I knew it would have just been two tiny fungi, you know. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Just attach yourself to Where's the pad? Where's the pad? There it is, okay, okay. So, possibly another one. There's always three R glasses. I'll turn this one on. The empty always all eventually lead back to the same center. How did the people who worship the gods live here? Alright, little wildcat. Rather than caring about how now dead people live, you should care for how you might yet die. Oh, I have a care for how you might, sure. Uh, oh, let me guess. You can't bear to tell me. Hmm. Okay. That's cute. That's cute. You really do get along nicely. Is there any other... Yes, yeah. They hide things in one with nature. Yes, give me more artifacts. Uh, are we back at opposite? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's good. This is very good. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, there's a stun. Which is good. There aren't benefits to a life of wandering. Nobody. I suppose. Okay. Let's see. All the way up. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and gets everywhere. <laughs> Time to go. Thinking up some new fangled contraptions. Uh, hey, hey, uh, the Off we go. Off 
Adventure oh. time. Off we go. Of course. <laughs> I knew that. Temple is said to have been first built by the vassal king named Ormads in the remembrance of the god king Ah Akmar. Both he and his he and his god would be buried in this desert. For us desert people, this is an escapable fate. We come from the soil and return to the sand as a simple matter is being born and dying. Okay. Hello. Teamwork is dream work! Into the wind! Grow, grow, grow! The minute to lift! One with nature! Oh. oh. Uh. Okay, okay, see. Yeah. Oh, that. Hehe. <laughs> Low. And burn over there, okay. Can we move this one? This is some. Ooh, shiny! Oh! Oh, okay! This is part two. Okay, I was wondering why it skipped like one part. <laughs> it was like one and then three and then four and then five. So my dear friend Merak, three times has Hiberos requested that funds be sent out in the name of alleviating the situation in disaster-stricken areas and repairing the oases and irrigation systems and has indeed made much ado about it, though perhaps not out of goodwill, I fear. The priest's calculations indicate that such a motion would add much unnecessary burden upon the treasury without any concrete benefit in return. This person is of mean birth and has no backing in the Council of Nobles. Only by the request of His Majesty Parv Parvezravan that he quell rebellions has he attained high rank, and now he asks for gold and silks, ruins honest folk, and rouses the rabble. Truly does he hold us nobles in contempt. Ooh. We are but humble subjects who serve our great king out of the nobility handed down to us by our forebears. How can we hand our hard-earned fortunes over to those indolent louts and rogues? Is not the protection of one's property the most basic of rights? Moreover, this fellow was born to mountain shepherds, making him by nature rebellious and cruel, given to bold-faced violence. Though he may be a general of the cavalry and may have His Majesty Parv Parvis Ravan's ear, but with how he ruins the greater body to enrich himself, and how he indulges in sloth and lapsing judgment, one cannot say for sure that he is not one of the brass mass's accomplices. I urge all my fellow nobles to look into this matter and stay on your guard. Close in this letter is a certificate for 300,000 silvers, as a small token on my part. We love corruption here! Woohoo! Ah, politics. I thought I could escape it by playing this game. Here we are. The rabble, you know, the rabble. Peasant rabble, you know, how dare they want more for themselves. <laughs> uh, stop. This is the place. Established of where? Establishing what? The wind knows me. Grow, grow, grow! This way for you, little. Rah! <laughs> yeah, okay. Give me those, even though I probably have a lot of them. And I don't know what to do with them at this point. Hey! Very cool! Adventure time! Ooh, I like it. Oh, thank God. So happy. Hey. What they do this to me? Ooh, pretty name card. 
guess I'll use it. Tarazans looks really nice, actually. Oh, yeah. Worked hard for that. So echoing. What's this? How to turn? On. Yeah. What here? Off we go! Of course not. Adventure it's time. not on. Yeah. Is it too... Okay. Figures. There are... Else around here? Pick up. Down I go. <laughs> oh, thank God. Ooh, oh, yeah. Part four. Okay, they were not in order. For the Council of Nobles, the self assembly facilities for military constructs have been sufficiently placed within the temples, the palace, the orchard of Pyridaeus' water supply storage areas, and other key sites. The threshold of King Deshrit's temple has been modified to serve as an assembly practice site to better meet the construct's needs and to facilitate quick assembly. The production of jinn fragment-infused weaponry and constructs has been expanded further, while the hiring of mortal troops has not decreased. We must draw manpower for military use from areas that pose a security risk, cut off any contact they might have with the rebels and provide suitable training and living conditions such that any identification with the insurgency may be eliminated. Alright, alright. Listen, this device has been activated too. Where the fuck am I? And that's a wrap. Let's go back. That's a wrap, baby. Go. Adventure time. Um. Oh. Hello, sir. Time to go. Let's light it up. Committed to memory. To the wind. Oh. I just like breaking. It's just a hundred mora. Five hundred mora. And three answered questions. That's what Thane said. Alright. Ha! I can see the device we need to activate even from here. That's gotta be the last one, right? Scatter the dust around the ceiling machine. Okay. How do I get in there though? I wonder why they set up teleport waypoints there. Maybe in case somebody wanted to stop in the middle of the quest? Um...
Alright, now go touch the central device again and see what happens. I mean, why don't you touch the central device and see what Raise me up. Are you alright? What happened? Y yeah. Thanks, I'm alright. That's good, that's good. Whew, that gave Paimon quite a fright. That tremor source should be to the north, outside the temple. Yeah, I sense that too. Wait, why couldn't Paimon tell? Because you fly! You don't have much experience living in the desert, Paimon. Because you fly. Right, that's true. Well, it's not like flying doesn't come with its own troubles, you know. Let's go have a look, you know. Something huge is bound to have happened. Very cool. I think. Hey yo! Hell yeah! Give me that! Give me that! Give me that! Empty chest. Good for storage. That's where he's there. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Exit is. This <laughs> one. What's up with that, though? Have I been in here? Okay, yeah, I, I... Yes, yes. Don't worry about that anymore. You've been there. Alright. Time to go outside, I guess. This isn't outside. Wait, uh, just teleport. Probably gonna stop for. Ah. Uh -huh. 